Okay. Fact or opinion? We're going to try to figure out what the difference is. Do you know? Do you know what a fact is? Anybody? Help me out here. What's a fact? Kevin. Something that's true. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. A fact. It would be more specific. A fact is something that can be measured. Or we use the word verified. Verified is another word for being true. Figuring out something is true, okay? So, like a thermometer measures what? What does a thermometer measure? Temperature. temperature, exactly. So that would be, a temperature of something is something that could be measured, or verified could be just looking and seeing for yourself, a picture of a girl looking at some, something in the grass. Or, here's a ruler, a ruler measures the length of something, right? Okay, so a fact is something that can be measured or verified. And verified, again, means just somebody else checks it out to make sure that it's true, okay? So what are some examples of facts? Well, it's a fact that the Empire State Building, this big building right here, is taller than Fairbanks Road Elementary School. You see this little dot right here? Little that. That's Fairbanks Road Elementary yeah, School. Okay. Yeah. That's Fairbanks Road Elementary School compared to the Empire State Building. Okay, so it's we could, if we had a giant ruler, we could put it up there and we could show it's a fact that the Empire State Building is bigger than this elementary school. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Alright, it's a fact. That a notebook, where's my notebook? A notebook. It's a fact that a notebook is heavier than a pen. Right? Here, hold these. Lift it up. Which one is heavier? <laughs> yeah, the notebook's a lot heavier, isn't it? You tell me, see what you're doing. Which one is you say would you say is heavier? Yeah, what you're doing is you're verifying, you're telling me that it's true. The notebook is heavier than the pen, right? Exactly. So that, thank you, is a fact. Okay, it's a fact that moms are older than their children. That's true, right? Absolutely. I hope they're older than their kids, otherwise where would they come from? Right? So those things are examples of things that we call facts, things that can be measured or verified. Okay? Um, about this one. It was hotter today in Miami, Florida than it was in Rochester. Cold here in Rochester, isn't it? In this area, yeah. Very cold here. In fact, if I had my phone, I could show you what the temperature was. I actually looked it up earlier. It was 72 degrees. It's nice and warm in down in Florida. As you can see snow outside. The snow would melt if it was that warm here, right? Yeah, so it's much warmer in Florida than here. That's something we can verify. Everybody with me so far? Okay. Now Here's a question, and I'm going to need help from everybody here. In fact, we'll write it on the board back here. You guys tell me, you guys tell me some facts that you know that are real facts. Okay, so just a reminder, those are all facts because they can be measured or verified. Right. Something that either is not, hasn't been verified, hasn't been shown to be true. Okay? So here's some examples. You guys like ice cream? Who likes ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. There's nobody's lactose intolerant. Here. <laughs> All right. If I said that vanilla was better than chocolate, is that an opinion or a fact? An opinion. Why? Because some people like chocolate better. Exactly. Bingo. Wow, you guys are smarter than I thought. Okay. So it's, a, it's an opinion because it's just a preference. 
okay? Some people like chocolate better than vanilla, and vanilla better than chocolate. Some people even don't like ice cream. I know it's hard to believe. Okay, how about this one? My dad is the best dad in the whole world. Is that a fact or an opinion? Amanda, you know? An opinion, yay! Okay, why? Why is it an opinion? <laughs> you're exactly right. Perfect. That's an excellent answer. And you might say, your dad's better. Everybody thinks their dad is great. It's an opinion. It doesn't mean it's not true. It doesn't mean that their dad is a wonderful person. It just, everybody has a different opinion about it. Okay. You're doing terrific. Okay. Do you guys like dogs or cats? Which do you think is better, dogs or cats? Or both? Or neither? Both? Yeah. Well, some people, if I said, well, if I said, I like cats better than dogs, is that a fact or an opinion? Okay. Yeah. Because some people like dogs, some people like cats. It's just how they feel about it. So these are examples of opinions. And one more. Spiders are scary. Lorelei is shaking her head. No, no, they're not scary. She likes spiders. I think they're scary. So, is that a fact? You know, do you think they're scary or not scary? They're not scary? You must be really brave. Can you come to my house and film with me? <laughs> okay. So, this would be what? An opinion or a fact? Opinion. Opinion. Perfect. All right. Now, just like we did examples of facts, give me some examples of opinions. What are we gonna do? I have a little video, a little cartoon video, about five minutes long. We're gonna watch, and then after we, after we're gonna have a snack. Story about Sid the Sea. Kind of interesting, huh? How he was alone in his hole and his friends left and drank all the water and grew into a big tree. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions. And what we're going to do, since we already know what the difference between a fact and an opinion is, I'm going to ask you questions about the story. And then we're going to see if we can figure out, you know, if these statements are facts or opinions. Okay? So here's the first one, and we'll talk about this. Sid lived in a hole in the ground. What do we think? Uh, fact or opinion? Fact. Fact. Now, here's the big question. Why is that a fact? Because he didn't want to live in a hole. Well, he did live in a hole. He lived in a hole because, well, we know it's a fact because we could see him in the hole, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Although that's true that he didn't want to leave. That's that's an important point. But he, you can see right here in this just a picture from the story that where he lived in the, uh, well, that's where it says he never wanted to leave the hole. But he did, you can see him right there in the hole in the ground. So we can verify that he lived in a hole. So that's a fact. Excellent. Okay. The spider's name is Pip. Who remembers? Is this a fact? No. Uh -huh. Oh, we have a difference of opinion here. <laughs> Ironically. Okay. Well, how would we uh, determine if this is a fact? How would we figure that out? You could watch the, the story again, right? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I got a picture from it, and it says a spider named Pip. So now we've just verified it, right? So now we can say it's what? Fact, right? Exactly. exactly. Okay, we're doing great. All right. Kim the Caterpillar has a funny voice. Is this a fact or an opinion? Opinion. Opinion. Why? Some people might think it's funny. And some people might not think it's funny. Exactly. That's perfect. Oh, you're really, you're really getting the hang of this. Yeah. I, First heard her, the voice, I thought it was kind of funny. 
to her, it's not funny. That's just her voice, right? Exactly. So it's definitely an opinion. Okay. Uh, the world outside of Sid's hole in the ground is scary. That's a fact or an opinion? Opinion. Okay, why? Because Sid can get scared, but life is kind of scary. Yeah, and after he became a tree, he didn't think it was scary, did it? He changed his mind. Yeah, that's exact. Remember our spider? What would we show back here? Our spider? That's an opinion. The same thing. Some people think it's scary. He thought. He thought that the outside world was scary, and then he changed his mind. It is. It's an opinion. It's exactly right. Very, very good. Okay. Let's see. When Kim flew away, Sid was all alone in his home. Hmm. Anybody? Anybody? Fact. Fact. Why is that a fact? So you can go back and, and look at the book and, make, and verify it. And see that. And see that he was alone. There he is. He's read a tiny picture, but there he is. Kim is flying away, and there's only him left. He's all alone in the home. Okay, you guys agree? That was a fact? Okay. All right. Being alone is sad. Is that a fact or an opinion? Opinion. Opinion. Why? Some people prefer being alone. Yes, absolutely right. When I was a little boy, my big brother used to pick on me, and sometimes I'd rather be alone than be picked on by my big brother. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so you don't, you don't pick on your sister, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're exactly right. Although. Jen Clark, please call the main office. Sid was, may have been sad. Not everybody would be sad to be alone, not all the time anyway, right? And he got over it being sad quickly when he decided to do something like drink the water, right? And he wasn't sad anymore. Right. Okay, Sid turned into a tree. Fact? Opinion? Opinion? Fact? Yeah. Fact! Yes! <laughs> exactly right. Now, uh, Amanda, why is that a fact? Exactly. Very good. That's very, very good. Yeah, we, we can go back and we can see. There he is. Sid turned into a tree, right? Excellent. Very, very good. You guys are really getting the hang of this. The difference between the fact and the opinion. Okay, and I've got one more. Sid turned into a beautiful tree. Is that a fact? Or an opinion? This is a little harder. Tell you that this one's tough. Is this a fact or an opinion? An opinion. Why? Because some people might Yes. Wow, you're really good at this. It could be a fact because, like the last one, he did turn into a tree. But to say it's a beautiful tree, that's the part that's the opinion. You got that exactly right. Exactly right. Very good. Very very good. You know, I like trees. You guys like trees? I think trees are beautiful. You should have more. That's my opinion. <laughs> okay. Um, now, here's a question. Has anyone ever told you something was a fact, but maybe really it was an opinion? Can you guys think of things that sometimes might get confused between a fact and an opinion? Anybody? Come on, I need some help here. What was the question again? Did, have you ever heard something presented as a fact? It said, said it was a fact, but mm, it's probably more of an opinion. I had a patient one time tell me that broken bones don't hurt. Really? <laughs> yeah. That felt more like an opinion. 
because I have had a lot more people tell me that broken bones do hurt. Hmm. Okay, so, so some people it might not hurt, and some people it hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lima beans are delicious. Lima beans are delicious. So that was presented as a fact? Okay. <laughs> But that, that would be what? I think it was one of my parents. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think it's an opinion. Yeah. Your parents tell you, ever tell you food was delicious and you didn't find it delicious? Did that ever happen? Or is all, are all foods delicious? <laughs> no? Not all foods are delicious? You ever had Brussels sprouts? I had Brussels sprouts for lunch today. I used to hate them as a kid. Ugh. But now I like them. So I changed my opinion. Brussels sprouts. What kind of foods do, do you not like? Fish. Fish. You don't like fish. Okay. Because it tastes fishy? It just doesn't taste good. Okay. What kind of foods do you like? Sandwiches? What kind of sandwich? If you had a, have your if you had any kind of sandwich at all, what kind of sandwich would you have? Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese sandwiches. So ham and cheese sandwiches are good, right? Is that a fact or an opinion? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> fish is fish is bad. Is that a fact or an opinion? Okay. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. Um, well, here's one I wrote down. Uh, there's two elementary schools in Churchville, Fairbanks Road Elementary School and uh, the one in downtown Churchville, Churchville Elementary. Um, what if I said Fairbanks Road Elementary was better than the Churchville Elementary School? Is that a fact or an opinion? Yeah. What if I said Fairbanks Road has more students than the Churchville Elementary? Is that a fact or an opinion? It's a tough one, huh? Hmm. Fairbanks Road Elementary has more students than Churchville Elementary. Well, we may not know the answer to that, but we could find out, couldn't we? Yeah. Well, I looked it up actually before. Fairbanks Road has 465 students, and Churchville Elementary has 331 students. So to say that Fairbanks Road has more students would be what? A fact or an opinion? Fact, yeah. As long as my numbers are right, that's a fact. Because we can measure it. We can verify that's that's actually true. Okay. Now, we're gonna play a little game. We're about 10 minutes ahead of schedule. So, we're gonna, everybody can play this game. Okay. I have a box. And whoever guesses what's inside the box gets to keep it. Okay? But there's one rule. You can ask any question, but I'll only answer yes or no. You guys played this game before? Sometimes it's called 20 questions. You can only answer yes or no. So it'll help you figure out what kind of questions will get you to the answer quicker. And I have a question for you guys first. Do you think there's a real live elephant inside this box? No. No. Why? Why is there not an elephant inside this box? Because an elephant cannot fit in here. Right, yeah, well, let me look. <laughs> yeah, you're right, there's no elephant. Okay. All right, so, fire away. Start asking me questions, and we'll see if we can figure it out and see who wins the prize. Anybody? We know it's not an elephant. Is it food? Is it food? Good question. No, it's not food. All right. Is it a shoe? No. Is it a shoe? Is it a shoe? Well, you know, there's actually a picture on here of my, my wife's shoe. <laughs> but no, I took the shoes out before I put uh, what's in here. Good question. Does it start with the letter A? <laughs> start with the letter A. No. Nope. All right. Does it start with an A? It's not shoes. Is it alive? Food. Is it alive? There's a whole category of things that could be other than elephants, right? Could be 
your feet. Snake. It could be a snake, it could be a spider. A frog. It could be a frog. But the answer is no, it's not alive. It's not alive. Okay? Is it blue? Is it blue? No. It's not blue. Hmm. Is it electronic? Good question. Wow. Cell phone or a radio or something like that? Is that what you mean? <laughs> no electronics. No batteries. No nothing. Can I eat it? Can you eat it? Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think you'd want to. No, I don't think you'd want to. Is it a game? Is it a game? Mm. No. It's really hard. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Did you guys have a question? Did you get a question? No? No. Doing no. <laughs> good. Narrowing it down. Is you it, can play too. Is it something you can play with? Is it something you can play with? It's not really like a toy game or something? No. It'll be fun. Is it a book? Is it a book? Um, I'm going to defer on that question. <laughs> 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 yes, it's a book. Yes, it's a book.